writer and television reporter. A bug with a nose for news. WORD News Director, Red Green, a busy woman. Put pool here and cover this story. But never too busy to help a young bug. Right, Red. Channel 85, WORD TV. The right channel. We've been working together for a good while now. And my writing is getting better and better. And there's something I've got to know. What are you, anyway? Huh? I'm a writer, a reporter. You know that. I mean, are you some kind of a grasshopper or something? Maybe a cricket? I'm just a bug. RB Bugs the name. News is my game. Oh, well... News is my game, too. And we've got a deadline. What you got? Mmm. Good, huh, Red? Not bad, Bug. You've got the facts. But your sentences aren't interesting. Listen to your sentences. Bill went to the fair. Jan went to the fair. It was the state fair. They went on Wednesday. They got on the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was huge. When they were at the top, it broke. Bill screamed, Jan screamed, they had to spend the day up there, they had to spend the night up there. The Ferris wheel was fixed and the children were safe. Those sentences could be a lot better, Bug. Right, Red. They could? Come on. You could have done the same job with a lot fewer words. Show me. Bill went to the fair, Jan went to the fair. How about Bill and Jan went to the fair? I like that. Bill and Jan went to the fair. It was the state fair. Bill and Jan went to the state fair. Yeah. They went on Wednesday. Let's put on Wednesday at the front of the sentence. On Wednesday, Bill and Jan went to the state fair. How about Bill and Jan went to the state fair on Wednesday? Oh, that'd be fine, too. And I'm glad to see you're thinking like a writer. There's no one right way to write. There are lots of different ways to put words together. What's important is that it sounds good to you. On Wednesday, Bill and Chan went to the state fair. Sounds fine to me, Red. They got on the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was huge. Let's combine those two sentences. They got on the huge Ferris wheel. Yeah. Your next sentence is fine. When they were at the top, it broke. Now the story gets good, huh? The story gets good, but your sentences need some work. Bill screamed. Jan screamed. They had to spend the day up there. They had to spend the night up there. Bill screamed. Jan screamed. Any ideas? How about using and? Jan screamed. Much more exciting. 
They had to spend the day up there. They had to spend the night up there. Bugs? We don't have to say they had to spend twice. Can you get rid of anything else? One of the up there's. They had to spend the day and the night up there. And your last sentence is good, too. The Ferris wheel was fixed and the children were safe. Got it. I always knew you crickets were sharp. Airtime. fairs in town, and W.O.R.D. was there. On Wednesday, Bill and Jan went to the state fair. They got on the huge Ferris wheel. When they were at the top, it broke. Bill and Jan screamed. They had to spend the day and the night up there. The Ferris wheel was fixed, and the children were safe. This is R.B. Bug for W.O.R.D. News. Good show. Here's your next assignment. what I've got here. Wednesday, the mayor went out to eat. He ate a hamburger. He ate ice cream. He ate a whole chicken. He got sick. He had to leave. Wednesday, the mayor went out to eat. That's okay. He ate a hamburger. He ate ice cream. He ate a whole chicken. Exactly what happened. But I can make those sentences better. I can use and. What words can I get rid of? a hamburger and ice cream and a whole chicken. He got sick. He had to leave.
got sick and had to leave. All done. Oh no, Red needs this story right now. The WORD Evening News, after this word. Wednesday. Wednesday. Spell Wednesday out loud. Capital W, E, D, N, E, S, D, A, Y. Wednesday. Our city's mayor had a few problems at Gus's, a local cafe. R.B. Bug has the story. Wednesday, the mayor went out to eat. He ate a hamburger, an ice cream, and a whole chicken. He got sick and had to leave. This is R.B. Bug for WORD News. And this is Red Green. Good evening. Join us again tomorrow on the Right Channel. Good night. To the first regular meeting of the club. This is the clubhouse, also my house. This is the official pencil sharpener. This is the official desk. Behind it is the official wastebasket, because a lot of things I write aren't too good. And the official motto is Palabra Chat, Palabra Chat. It means write words. You can be in the club if you like to write, and you can be a big help to me. Watch. Write down what happened, then write an ending to the story. Then, if you want to, send me what you write, and you'll be in the club. Say the motto with me. Palabra chat, palabra chat. Now watch. My story has a good beginning. a mysterious sack. Two children accidentally found the sack and dug it up. What should happen next? Help! Send your ideas to the club, Post Office Drawer 1101, Jackson, Mississippi, 39205. Write me, Palabra Jot, Palabra Jot. The Right Channel was produced in cooperation with the Mississippi State Department of Education, Division of Instruction, by the Mississippi Center for Educational Television in association with the Agency for Instructional Television.